Gemini, it might feel like you're half asleep as the new year begins. As January 2023 begins, you are trying to get that mojo back, but you've got to be patient because if you're feeling tired, if you're feeling frustrated, if you're feeling like life just pressed the pause button and is stopping you from doing anything, it is because Mars is still retrograde in your sign as the new year begins. Mars is going to go direct on January 12th. When this happens, you're going to start to notice a shift, a, a very profound shift because this Mars retrograde cycle from October 30th until January 12th has not been a complete waste of your time, has not happened just to piss you off and make you annoyed at the world and the universe. It's been happening so that you really stop and evaluate how you're using your energy, what you're pursuing. We have a limited amount of energy as human beings and it is important to put our energy and our attention to things that really matter to us, to things that are going to help our personal evolution and, and things that are going to support our own identity and development. And with this Mars retrograde in your sign, you've really put the brakes on anything that truly isn't serving you that you've been energetically feeding and that's a good thing. Now, while you've done that, it might have felt like the whole world just stopped for you. But what is really happening is this important shift, Gemini, where you're now going to be ready after January 12th to consciously and powerfully direct your energy into doing what really matters for you, for your life path, for your life goals. It is also going to be a physically restoring time for you where you're energetically going to feel renewed in a powerful way. So you definitely will enjoy that. But I have to say that as the, you know, as the year begins, remember for the first half of the month, Mars is still retrograde and it's going to take a minute to gain speed. So be patient with yourself. Life doesn't happen instantly all the time. Sometimes it's, you know, one step at a time. And right now you're not moving as January begins, but you're about, it's, it's like the universe is about to say on your mark, get set, go. And when it says go, you're going to go, trust me. So there is also a full moon that occurs on the 6th. So before Mars goes direct, there's this full moon on the 6th and that full moon occurs in your second house of earned income. And it's, it might press your security buttons if you are losing a source of income at this time. Not everybody's going to lose a source of income when a full moon hits the second house. It's really about this emotional awareness of your talents and abilities and, and self-worth and whether or not you're using this constructively to earn a living. If you feel like you're not being paid for your talents and abilities, for what you're worth, it's, um, there could be this nature to you where you want to hold back, where you all of a sudden don't want to give to whatever it is that you do in order to make money because you're emotionally bruised, let's say, uh, at some, at not feeling appreciated, not feeling valued. So that may have to be addressed for some of you Geminis. For others, it is very literally just about a shift in income, a change in income, transition. You are no longer going to be making money doing X, Y, and Z. Instead, you're going to go and do A, B, and C. That doesn't have to be dramatic. So again, not everybody's losing their job. That's, that's not what a full moon here says. It's, it's a very internal, emotional lunation for you, I think. Now, Mercury does go direct on the 18th, and Mercury is your ruling planet, so this is an important shift for you. Mercury is going to go direct in your 8th house of shared resources, and Mercury went retrograde here on December 29th, so you might have felt that the universe has been delaying something connected to getting a loan approval, getting money uh, from retirement, investments, taxes, anything that connects to your spouse's income. Perhaps there's been a delay in a passive income revenue stream that you've wanted to get off the ground, or maybe there was a check lost in the mail that was owed to you. And whatever this is with the money stuff, it's going to get sorted out after the 18th and you've got 
uh, progress now happening in that area of your of your chart in your life. So you're going to feel good about that. The month ends with you being quite the philosopher, Gemini. There's a new moon on the 21st that occurs in your ninth house. Space in the ninth house is about your beliefs. The new moon is an interesting new moon to me. It's occurring at early degree of Aquarius, but the very next day, there's going to be an exact Saturn-Venus conjunction in your ninth house. And that Saturn-Venus conjunction talks about whatever you're initiating at this new moon, it is serious. It is deliberate. You know, your thoughts, if they're, if your philosophy is evolving in some way, it is because you have carefully studied a topic before you've made a decision or a declaration about your mental connection to that topic. So that's pretty interesting. This could also be in the physical world, an actual opportunity to teach what you know. This could be you becoming that professor, sage, philosopher for others in an important way. And the opportunity is there to broadcast your special message out into the world. And you can do that in so many ways these days. You can publish a book, you can start a podcast, you can talk on your own YouTube channel, you can have a webinar, a series, whatever it is for you, start a blog. It's, it's a really good time to speak up about your special brand of truth, whatever that is for you and do it successfully and be taken seriously for it, be, be seen as the authority for it. Okay, so Gemini, month starts off slow, but trust me, by the end of the month, you're gonna really feel good in your own skin again, and you're gonna start to make important progress that will help you for the rest of 2023.